and you'll hear from the website neilcurtis.me and in a past tutorial we used the toolset suite of plugins in fact one of those called cred it's cred forms plugin to create this form this simple form here on this website and when you submit this form it creates a new post automatically so it's a front-end form for generating content on your website and this actually creates a new turbo trainer product page and i've got a past tutorial where i set all of this up and there's a link here if you want to check this out but what i have one what i want to have a look at today is how to add the feature if you click this submit button or add this trainer button it actually takes you to a payment page and it actually costs money to post content on the site so this could be useful to you if you had say a directory or some kind of service promotion website so people could post stuff on your website and or maybe sell stuff on your website and if you want to let them do that they can submit their content through a form but they need to pay to have the content show up on the website so that's what we're going to do now and what we're going to do is we're going to use the cred form still which is what's used here but there's an add-on a plugin called cred commerce that comes as part of the tool set suite of plugins and this adds the option to add a payment form and it integrates with the plugin woocommerce which is free to get so we'll go and set all this up now so i'll go into the dashboard Then the first thing I'll do is activate the cred commerce. I've already installed it because I've installed a lot of the tool set plugins already, but I'll go and activate it now. So at the moment we have the cred. And we've only got the option to add a new form or some of these settings. There's no commerce option here. So if we go into plugins, You'll see here I have cred commerce. So I'll just activate this. Now if we go down, you'll see we've got this cred commerce option. And it doesn't actually do anything when you click on it, it just gives you some instructions. It adds something to the normal cred forms. So here it says you need the cred plugin installed and activated, which you already have, and it says WooCommerce plugin either is either not installed or not activated well we haven't downloaded it so that's why and just gives you instructions how to use it and basically what you have to do is you have to get woocommerce and then you need to set up a new product and give it a price because essentially people are going to be buying a product off you that lets them submit a new content to your website and then using the cred forms you enable the payment button at the bottom and then you select what product they're paying for. So we need to get the WooCommerce plugin. So let's go into plugins. And this time I want to add a new one because I haven't got it yet. We'll just search for it here. WooCommerce is a very popular e-commerce plugin that people use on WordPress websites. We'll just install this. And activate it, of course. And now we have the WooCommerce plugin. And then here it says, Welcome to WooCommerce, you're almost ready to start selling. Install WooCommerce pages. So I'll just do that. And it's as easy as that. So we've got all the settings here and then you can configure all the settings of the WooCommerce forms and product forms and checkout forms and what you want to show and I'm not going to do that here because this is not what this tutorial is about I just want to show you how to add this feature and you can go and customize it as much as you want so you see we've got enable use of coupons here and we've got all these different payment options so we can just modify these if you wanted, but I don't want to. But what we do need to do is we need to create a product because someone's actually got to buy something 
offer you when they submit a new post. So we just go add new product. And again, you can spend time filling all this out nicely, but we're just going to say WooCommerce new product. But we can call it whatever we want. And then we need to go down. So this is, if you're doing it properly, you could fill out all of this information. But all I want to do is just want to put a price in here because it's how much I want to charge people. So I'll say 49.99. Oops got the num lock so 49.99 that's how much I'm going to charge and the currency is pounds but you could have changed that in the settings if you wanted to and I'm gonna say this is a virtual product because I'm not gonna actually have something sent out I'm just gonna leave all that okay and again you can customize this if you want but I'm just gonna publish it right so there we go Click products here. We'll see we've got one new product in our system. It's in stock and it's costs that much money. So now we need to link this up to our cred form. So when someone submits it, they looks at like the buying this product. So we've got cred and the forms. So we need to find this form here that we've already created. And I've only got two forms. One's for edit, editing the content. One's for adding new content. So it's this one. So we did all of this in a previous tutorial. If you go right down to the very bottom, we now have this new area. This wasn't here before, but since we've activated this Cred Commerce plugin, it's added this charge payment with this form. So I'll tick that. And the first area is always this product that goes from. So what are they going to buy? So they're going to buy this WooCommerce new product that we just set up in WooCommerce. We've got more options. I'm just going to leave them as default. And we've got message areas. And then we've got what you want to do. So when the purchase is processing, so this is when they submit the form, but they haven't made the payment yet, how is their post going to be? So the product that they're trying to put on the site is going to be pending review. So it's not going to be published. But as soon as you complete the purchase, it's going to be published. Then after payments, the clients are the author of the post, and this is what we want. But one thing we need to do, so it says here, remember you also need to select either cart page or checkout page when you submit the form. Because at the moment, we have it as, when they click the submit button, it creates new content and then it displays a post they've just made, but we don't want that. We need them to go to a checkout page first, buy it, and then it'll display it. So we'll do that. And we'll update this form. Okay, so in theory, that should be everything sorted. So I'll refresh our form, just so it's make sure it's got all the latest settings we've just done. Then we'll go ahead and submit this. So. To return a name, I'll just do it quickly here because I just want to see if this payment option works. And of course, if you do it yourself, you can spend a lot more time with your forms and settings. But new paid trainer, we'll leave that there. We'll say it's an elite. This doesn't matter. I'm just filling out these options. ROP, 500. See it's wind. I need to choose a file because this is a required field. I'll just choose any file. Gonna need those blank. So hopefully when I click this add a trainer button, it'll take us to the checkout page. Right, and there you go, it's taking it to our checkout page. You see here we've got an area to add a coupon. If you click, it nicely opens up this area to add a coupon for a discount. But we could get rid of that if we wanted. It was in the settings. We've got this area here for your billing details, your address. And also if this is, we, we check the virtual product, remember, so there's no shipping information, but if it's a physical product, we'd have shipping information here. 
get out all these information and this is how much it costs remember it's the buying a woocommerce new product and it's going to cost them 49.99 and then we have all the different payment options so we can click here and then we can proceed to pay by paypal and i'm not going to do that because i don't want to charge myself and pay for anything but i'll click this see what happens no no it's asking me to fill out all these fields because it's part of the form so i'm not going to do that i'm going to push back to this page and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my product and i'm going to say it's free and then we can go through the procedure to create a new product on the site so we can go through the process and have a published thing turbo trainer on the site so here in the price i'm just going to put zero update that and now if we have a look at the product list you see it says the price is free so now i'll go and submit this okay so here we are again and if we go at the bottom you see we've got no payment options because it says it costs nothing and we can just place the order but i need to fill in these details here street town postcode and then what else random numbers and then we'll place this order and then it hasn't it says I have not added a valid zip code let's put a random one in here and see if it lets me place this order There we go, great, it has done. So we've got our order, this is what we've ordered, it costs nothing, here's my details, and then that's it. And here's a default thank you message, your order has been received. So we could have added our own custom message in here, and we could have done that in the credit commerce area, and I could have had a link, could have said, click, your product has now been published on the site, click here to view it, but I didn't do that. But we can go and find it, so if I go into, well first of all, look, I go into my WooCommerce, and you'll see we have this new product we've just put in there and it's actually processing it because we must have set it up that it doesn't automatically accept it so i'm just going to click this complete to say yep this order is complete so now if you have a look at the trainers we should have a new trainer in there and there it is new paid trainer that we've just set up and we can go and view it there it is this is a new trainer product that we've just set up and obviously we've got no details because we didn't fill it out properly so that's how you can add an option to your site so people can add stuff to your site but then get charged for it and you only get it published on a site if they pay for it so this could be useful for your website you may want to check out the cred and the cred commerce and how it integrates with woocommerce Okay, so make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get more information or hear first when I have new videos about WordPress and other WordPress plugins. And also make sure you head over to my website at www.neilcurtis.me and you can see lots more stuff on there.